Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can see by my face, I'm looking like a hot mess, clearly. I don't know if you can tell on my nose, I'm sure you can. I've had some issues going on. For some reason, my nose is like all messed up, which is really cute. Um, I think it's from stress from wedding planning or something, so that's great. Anyway guys, I wanted to film a kind of life update because a lot's been going on and I sat down and filmed it on a really really bad day and it like is the most depressing video ever so I don't want to post that one. <laughs> so I figured I'd just do like a day in the life type of a video and y'all can come around with me and my fiance. Good morning. Hi baby. Hi No we're leaving, I'm sorry. I look terrible. You're so sweet. You do not look terrible. You just need a haircut. No, I look pretty... Oh. <laughs> That's rude. I'm like wearing house slippers and, and shorts. Are you excited for the gym? <clears throat> no, my legs hurt, but I'm excited to lose some weight. <laughs> Did you tell your parents happy kiss day? What in the heck is happy kiss day? Today's the day they go to their kiss concert. And so oh. I, I texted both your parents and said happy kiss day. Oh, I will have to text them. We bought my parents tickets to the kiss concert. It's their last concert. Their last concert. And they're very, very excited. If y'all are wondering what we're doing, our car is too cold. Can you see my breath? Frosting, but the still Lovely. It's too cold, so we're just standing in the sun because it's warm in the sun while our car defrosts. LA, I don't understand LA what's going bro. on. It's too cold. LA I don't like bro. the cold. So this weekend we went to tour. Oh, sorry about the lighting, guys. Jesus. Um, we went to tour some houses just to kind of peruse the market because the market is coming back up now that it's springtime, which makes me so happy. Um, and we found the coolest house, and Tim is in love with one of the houses, which never happens. It's a nice house. I found it, and I found it for you. And the funny thing is, is that we looked at three houses, and this one was the biggest square footage, but it was the cheapest. So I was like, so, oh. Like 7,000 square feet. It's like 68, yeah. So it's, it's pretty big. I'm pretty oh, sure I have the photos of it. I have the photos. This is the backyard. That's, that's, that's ridiculous. The backyard. So Tim fell in love with it. It's such it's a good huge. investment property. It really is. They're selling it for so cheap compared to what it's worth. It's so cool looking. Let me I see think it's worth double what they're selling it for. The other photos. make a move on that house but holy crap to furnish that house that is huge was it? well it was only five bedrooms but it's really big it had like seven bathrooms what the hell and it had like two game rooms it had three sitting rooms it had, yeah it had three sitting rooms and two game rooms like that's a bit excessive oh my gosh i can't see nothing okay well we just got to the gym so i won't see y'all later because i can't see y'all with the lighting because we're gonna go look at a country club today and this is our second one we're looking at so I'm excited to see it because this one is supposed to be better than the other one and the other one I didn't like so basically he golfs a lot 
it's cheaper to get a country club than to keep golfing at like a million different golf courses and paying all their fees. So that's why we're doing that. So hopefully we like it. We're gonna go check out the Calabasas Country Club. I've heard good things. It's also being remodeled right now. So hopefully we get to see some stuff. I don't know, if they'll let me film, then like I'll try to film a little bit of stuff. But yeah. I think they will. I think they would too. Yeah, I hope so. Will. Hopefully so. So we're really excited. I gotta get these nails done. Is that cute? That's cute. <laughs> you commented that they were bad. Yeah, you don't look, they don't look very good. <laughs> They look like like evil witch fingernails. Thanks. Basically, I do not like getting my nails done. I don't understand how girls like that, so I try to avoid going at all costs. Anyway, see you in a minute. Bye, children. If you can't tell, um, someone ate something and got into one of our chair cushions. That would be you. It's not very nice. Go potty. Go potty. So this is my first time trying one of these breakfasts. It's called crack an egg or just crack an egg. You get it in like the cold section by the butter. Mm, I'll let y'all know if it tastes good. My healthy breakfast? Your healthy breakfast. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, egg whites, a little bit of onions, a little bit of mozzarella. Uh, what's that bread called? Um, Ezekiel bread. Yes. Apple cider vinegar with water. This is his new turkey bacon. This is his new hot diet. sauce, so it tastes good. Ghost pepper hot sauce. So I want to see him try to drink this. Just like, just power through it. Just power through. <sighs> Tim, you can't. Beep it. <laughs> <laughs> chug, 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 chug. Oh yeah. A little update on this little mixture. If you add extra cheese and a little bit of salt, I don't eat very salty foods regularly, but if you just do that, it makes it taste a world's difference and way better. So added mozzarella cheese and a little bit of salt. It's amazing what makeup can do to your attitude and mood. I feel so much better and clean. Ugh, that's like the worst when I go to the gym in the morning. I don't usually shower if it's that early and then I just feel gross. Like I need to shower and rinse off. On our way to the country club. Pretty excited to check it out. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping afterwards because I've been looking for nude sticks. It's like a brand of really easy to apply makeup. And I tried two of their products, their eyeshadow stick and their concealer stick, and I really like them. So um, they're carried at a store over here in Calabasas, so I am going to go there, which I have been meaning to go to for like a month, but I don't go to that part of Calabasas. It's like the opposite direction. So that's what we're gonna do. Nail appointment had to be moved because they are not available today, which is a bummer. So I'm still on the road, but I did want to give y'all, oh, there we go. I did want to give y'all a slight update about like certain aspects of life just because I've been meaning to do that and I filmed it twice and then I never posted it. So um, for those of you who don't know, my fiance who is in front of me, driving me in front of me, um, he has cancer. So it has not been the best. It's been very stressful and we still don't have answers and stuff. So it's been really, really difficult. And I've been, we've been mutually, Tim, are you gonna exit? This is Parkway Calabasas. Are we exiting? Yeah, we're exiting. Okay. Um, so it has not been going the best and we've been holding it together very, very well up until like two weeks ago when we just like kind of both melted down. We had to go see a new oncologist and just things aren't going the way we wanted them to go and it's making me very nervous for the sake of my fiance's health. So it has been more stress on top of wedding stress. And so that is also why, um, I don't know if I said this this morning or not because I've already filmed part of this before and then I never posted it, but um, yesterday we started this new fitness thing or he did uh, in particular um, for this like really famous trainer in LA who's like really world renowned and stuff. So he's gonna start doing that because the cancer stuff is just going too slow and it's only, you know, it's life. You know, his life depends on this. So I was like, listen, we're gonna get your health in check. 
we gotta do that because no one's treating you because people are just insurance just, it's a really long complicated story I'm gonna make a whole dedicated video once we have more answers about um, the cancer stuff so uh, that should be hopefully soon been waiting for like four months for a freaking pet scan um, sorry I get a little mad about it a little upset but okay I'm gonna quit talking about it but you know you get the gist basically we're waiting for more stuff story of our life I will update y'all on that anyway we're almost there but you can play off and hit off grass too. And then... Whew. So that was interesting. We just finished the tour and we got lunch and everything at the country club. It was pretty nice. I'm pretty impressed with it. And people were actually really nice, which is really surprising because at a lot of golf courses, People can be stuck up and stuff and think that they're the best and whatnot. Does my face not match my neck? It looks like it. <laughs> I'm just a mess. But anyway, uh, it went pretty well. We're gonna test out the gym on Friday. And if we like the gym, which it, it was kind of nice. It was nice because it was not crowded whatsoever. So, um, but it is a lot smaller than the gym we go to now. So we're gonna test it on Friday. And if we like it, then maybe we will make the switch. This is closer to our house anyway so it's less crowded it just doesn't have as much equipment which is a little bit of a bummer so I'm gonna go shopping now <laughs> I'm so tired I'm in the weirdest mood I need some coffee hey everyone I am finally back from running all my errands got a little bag of goodies I mean I guess I'll show y'all what I got today from this makeup store wasn't too impressed with the makeup store um people were really rude there but I just don't like little people. Just why can't we all be nice to each other? So I got nude sticks, which is the whole reason I went there was to get nude sticks. I got a lip color and the color Mystic. Very natural. It's like a lip and cheek color, which I'm all about like portable little things. Um, then I got it's a Buxom lip gloss, which I've always really liked Buxom, except I think I bought one of their lipsticks recently and it wasn't good and I actually returned it and it takes a lot for me to return something. I got a bright pink lip gloss. It's very, very pink. I like it. It's like the brightest shade they had in the color Rose Julep. Then I got, it's like a lip balm from Buxom that's supposed to make your lips like a little bit more natural colored. And then I got a Laura Mercier um, matte uh, lip a matte lip uh, color, like a like an eye crayon, like a eyeshadow. That's the color there. I know the lighting is fabulous. It's basically just like a neutral brown, which is what I wanted from Nude Sticks, but they didn't have any good colors, so I had to get it from Laura Mercier. No biggie. Then I finally got a package in from Jed North, which I I don't know why. Whoever they use for shipping is like always messing up my packages, so it took me forever to get it. I just wanted to show y'all what I got briefly. I got this little crossbody sports bra, which it looked really cute on Paige Hathaway. She's like a fitness influencer, if you don't know who that is. Um, it looked really cute on her, so I wanted to try it too. The only thing with Jed North is like the quality is different for like a lot of their pieces. Like I have another black bra that looks like this, and this feels way different than the other one. So that's maybe it could be a good thing, but I really like the quality of the other one. So I was hoping that this was the same as that one. If that makes sense. I got this little lounge set. I've never tried their lounge stuff. Looks comfortable, but not anything. Like I'd be really surprised if this was like uber flattering on. Just cause the way that the fabric feels, it feels like it wouldn't really flatter my body, I guess. I like the crop top. It's kind of a warm top. Like, um, like the fuzziness on it, I guess. It's warm, it's not really something you'd wear to the gym. I got this hoodie. I like the color of it, so we'll try that out. I've never tried any of their jackets. I got this sports bra, which I do really like. Um, it feels a lot like the ombre collection from um, Gymshark, just a lot of like the typical 
sports bras you get from activewear brands, which I like. I mean, I like something simple and not, I don't want anything with all the straps and anything like super crazy with like um, too much going on. I like simplicity and I have the leggings to these and I really like them. So I would recommend those leggings. If you've watched my videos, you know I haven't had the best luck with their leggings. Um, I just like the seamless leggings that are the same color as that. Um, but they're really colorful sets. I wasn't a fan of their leggings, especially if you are short because they are like really, really long. Um, I got this. These are some of my favorite items from Jed North. These little tops, they're like 20 or $22. I have them in a bunch of colors, but I got this one in black. Then they sent me this one in pink which I like too, but I hope that they're not marketing it as that because these are two completely different fabrics. Like this is like a cotton that some people probably wouldn't like working out in. Uh, I don't mind it. And then this is like the type of top, like, you know, a fitness stretchy dense material, which is what I ideally prefer. Um, and then I got two leggings, which I'm trying to give their leggings another shot. I saw these online on Paige Hathaway and they looked so good. They're kind of like a camo, it's kind of hard to see. And they're completely seamless. I got them in the blue and then in like the black and gray. So hopefully these will fit. Um, if y'all want, I would love to do a review on them. Um, hopefully I like them. I just feel bad because like the leggings, I have so many pairs of their colorful leggings and I just really don't like the fit of them. So I'm excited to try all these other goodies because the quality feels really good on what I got here today. So by the way, if this room looks crazy, it's because it's my office and I just have like a lot going on. I just realized this curtain, it's like a a blackout curtain and it's been in the way this whole time so whatever that's fine um, I'm gonna take care of a couple of emails for the next hour or so maybe film a YouTube video and then I'll check back in hopefully Tim will be home by then I know he's been golfing at the country club to test it out so we'll see if he even likes the golf course because if he doesn't like the golf course we're not joining the country club that defeats the entire purpose <laughs> Phew! it has been a busy day my fiance Tim has finally returned home. He's cooking dinner right now. Um, I worked, I did all these emails and fun stuff. And then I forgot I needed to create a video for this account for tomorrow. So I had to create that workout video, which I don't know how I forgot that. It's on my, it's on my calendar. I just wasn't paying enough attention. So I did that. Just got to edit it, which I will do after dinner. And I'll show y'all dinner when it is ready. Mm. Thank you, my love. You're welcome. That's very sweet. As long as you're happy. Beautiful. I'm gonna make some Reese's. Reese's? Uh-huh. The healthy kind. The healthy kind. Mm -hmm. With dark chocolate, and I'm gonna make my own peanut butter filling. It's gonna be delicious. Did you hear him just fart? That was your phone. Oh. <laughs> I like Reese's. I like Reese's. You do. I do. I make you Reese's. Why are you so good to me? Because you're I'm my lady. I'm the lady. You're my lady. Nailed it. Nailed it. Tim is now making us healthy Reese's. Super excited. Well, everyone, I hope y'all had fun following us around for the day and just kind of seeing what we do. For some reason, a lot of people wanted to see what my day-to-day -day is like in LA, and this is what it is. It's not always typically like the same though, so if y'all want to see more, let me know. I can make more. If y'all enjoyed today's video, please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it, and I will see y'all next time. Bye!